to be frank, there's uh, several things about this government that worries me as an observer. Uh, Lenin Moreno was in Washington, D.C. in January. He met with uh, Bob Menendez, a senator from New Jersey, a Democrat, but someone who uh, takes a very hard line on Latin America. He supports the right wing everywhere in Latin America. And then in late March, March 24th, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee approved a resolution on Ecuador uh, basically saying, you know, touting the friendship between Ecuador and the United States and saying that Lenin Moreno had helped restore democracy in this country. And as, you know, followed or followers of Ecuador and Cuba uh, uh, obviously know, Moreno has done any, anything but restore democracy. He's been the biggest threat to democracy. And so this state of exception, state of emergency, uh, it's really being interpreted as a way to make sure that people aren't on the streets after 8 o'clock. And, and, and just last night, I think, there was an article published in Página 12, which is an Argentinian newspaper, about possible fraud in the elections, a uh, CNE whistleblower. And I asked the CNE today about that, and they kind of, uh, you know, they, they tried to avoid the question. They said, there were, oh, there's lots of safeguards in place, but it, it didn't really inspire confidence in some of the observers. So, you know, that's something we're going to be very paying a lot of attention to on Sunday. Really, to draw a parallel to Bolivia, what we saw in Bolivia in 2019, was uh, their electoral authorities issue a quick count that was really biased, and that led the OAS to claim fraud, which led to the coup and the, a year of a coup regime. Uh, if there is a similar quick count this time around, uh, that's one of my fears that it will somehow be used to justify a narrative of fraud, and that the OAS will probably be at the center of it. Um, but I also think that people particularly in Latin America, have learned from the experience in Bolivia. And I think there's going to be a big push to have calm. Uh, I was just uh, witnessing Andres Arauz's campaign, closing campaign event, and he said he wants people out on the streets on Sunday night at 7 to celebrate. So he certainly seems very confident. Uh, I don't, you know, I mean, that, that, that's why we're here as observers, to, to help make sure that this whole entire process is transparent, free, and fair.